Bird did not get a good beginning, was taken up in the early stages. Cape Canaveral, the first one to respond. Not much speed on, and Secret Travelers on the right hand side now, hunting for the lead at the thousand. Right hand side, Blue Body and Black Cap. Harry's horse just off them. O Canada's in the pink silks to the inside. Gemstone Creek. Salander's towards the inside, racing five off them. Misty Power, David's Flower. Races about six and a half lengths off the tempo. Northern Waters drop back through the field, races seven, eight lengths off them. Reminders for Bold Attitude and First Flight the trailer. Secret Traveller comes forward to strike the front and goes for home by two. Cape Canaveral's the grey second. Gemstone Creek towards the outside. Salander's going to go down the inside. Secret Traveller, Cape Canaveral. Here comes Salander between runners. David's Flower looking to pick up on the outside. 200 metres to go. Cape Canaveral. Here comes Salander now putting her stride together. Cape Canaveral, the last hundred, digs down. Salander's on the inside. David's Flower. Cape Canaveral's digging down deep. Cape Canaveral from Salander. That's the way they stay. David's Flower maybe bold attitude got up for the minor positions in a photo worth northern waters Yes, Cape Canaveral Samunga Kamalo for the Frank Robinson stable and the blinkers have done the trick this is the son of Miesk's approval and the 1200 at the Grable circuit from that inside barrier he continues to plug away Salander's trying to cut back that lead but to no avail the last 100 meters and David's flower well jumped out the gates got intimidated for a stride or two and a bit further back than he wanted to be stayed on third and let's see who goes down to the line fourth it's very close Northern Waters or Bold Attitude puts his nose down right on the post there and we'll leave that one to the judges either or very very tight Secret Travelers further back and in comes Harry's Horse, Misty Power, Gemstone Creek they further back with O Canada top of the lane and Cape Canaveral his turn to take over Secret Traveler called it a day and the Philly Salander now looks to put on her stride to the inside running on from behind is David's Flower but it's Cape Canaveral Canaveral down the center of the course continues to drive away does Samunga Kamalo and the winning post is looming and the first race belongs to number nine Cape Canaveral Salander David's flower photo behind that back to the studio Nice start for trainer Frank Robinson, number nine, Cape Canaveral, the grey son of Mia's approval. Well done to the breeders, Scott Brothers, and of course, Samango Kamalo getting on the board early this evening. And the owners, Max Naidu and Darren Marks. We'll get to chat to Darren uh, just now because it's, it's a nice celebration, uh, a celebratory gift that you gave Darren uh, this evening, uh, Frank. Yeah, I believe it's his anniversary, so I was happy to oblige. Yeah, look, he's, he's a horse that's always shown a lot. His first one was, was a good run, and then his next one was a bit disappointing, but he, he pulled up shins, or I battled with his shins. Yeah, he's, got, he hasn't got the, he's got very bad front legs, actually. And uh, we, we, we did the shockwave therapy, and it seemed to help. I thought I'd put the blinkers on as well, just to get him to concentrate, and he, and he did the job. It didn't look like he, he won a good race, and uh, I don't know it was uh, purely because of the blinkers, but uh, the treatment and uh, all the care given back home seemed to have also helped, Frank. Yeah, look, I think too he's a horse that I'd like to actually geld now and put away because he hasn't got the greatest legs and he'll win a couple of races. He's quite a nice type of horse. Frank, before you leave us, uh, you got a few more runners this evening and your string's ticking over nicely. Yeah, look, uh, the, the one in the third, Volcanic Rock, I think just to throw him in to Exotics and Fridian, I'll be disappointed if she doesn't win tonight. She's, she's very well. But a confidence there, Frank. I like that. Yeah, I think she'll run well. Thanks for that, Frank. Thanks, Lovely. Let's get uh, Darren Marks in. I can't uh, seem to see Samanga there. Darren? Hearty congratulations. Uh, we're just chatting off air, your 12th anniversary. Congratulations to yourself and uh, the, the, the lovely lady who I'm sure is watching back home. Thanks very much. I dedicate this win to my wife, 12 years anniversary today. So it was a great surprise. It's a great thanks to Frank for, you know, we, we know how much effort he puts in. He's a great trainer, he puts a lot of heart into his uh, training and whatever. And, you know, it's just a case of waiting for the right races, right draw. Darren, to, to, talking about uh, you know, loving the game, you're a gentleman that's uh, there every morning. You, you love the horses, you've got a farm at Summerfelt, and uh, things went well for you? At the moment, yeah, we just we consolidated, and 
but we're just trying to get our volume down rather by quality than, than quantity but you know it's in my blood and i absolutely eat live and sleep it so where's max this evening max is in Joburg for the big meeting tomorrow well done max i told you just hang in there or frank did <laughs> You had a bit of tickle here, Darren. I know, I know you like having a bet. Yeah, I had a small little strike. Nothing to complain about. Thank so you very much. All the doubles going into the fifth? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for that, Darren. <laughs> Thanks. For Lovely. Well done to Darren Marks. And of course, Max Naidu here with number nine, Cape Canaveral. You heard it from Frank. He really likes uh, his horse in the fifth race, uh, Frudiana. Uh, that is number two. And that could be a possible banker this evening. Uh, uh, in the exotics, uh, the jackpot, and of course, the pick six and the place accumulator coming up. But if you caught the score tet in race number one, the numbers you'll need, nine, 11, one. It got tight for fourth, but the judges posted up number six. Number six will round off the quartet. Jot this time down. Race number two will be the start of the place accumulator, and that will begin at 17.50, 10 to six, race number two, the start of this evening's PA.